Well, today we're doing something that we haven't done in a long, long time. Yes. Well, I'm not doing it. Um, you are. Flying solo. Yeah. This is going to get a tattoo today. I'm going to get a cover up today. It's still a tattoo. It's still a tattoo, but I am covering up my very first tattoo I ever got. And we have not been tattooed since we started this RV journey. We've not been tattooed on the road. No, it's been five years, five or six years for me. Yeah. So, what are you covering up and why? I am covering up Goofy. Well, Not your first cover up, by the way. Not my first cover up. It's going to be my second cover up because I've had multiple regrets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we're going to see Mark. Mark is our artist. We've been using Mark for years. Yeah. Years before Phenomenal I retired man. from the military. And yeah. he's done a lot of my work. We don't have a plan today. No, I told him it's all up to him what he thinks he can do with this goofy. Um, um, game. So, Leslie trusts him because on her on her first big major cover up was a full back piece. Yes, I had to take up my whole back to hide everything. So we spent two entire days with Mark at one point <laughs> doing this back piece, which he did a phenomenal job at, by yes. the way. Love my So I can't wait to see what he comes up with yeah. to cover Goofy. I think I'm going to love it no matter what. I already know. Well, Leslie's back there in the tattoo shop uh, getting her tattoo done. She chose the uh, sunflower with a butterfly. Such and such, such and such. Um, okay. yeah. And then they go get another one. Another one if they we're about an hour and a half in. Um, not sure exactly how long it's going to take, but she uh, once that initial pain hit and she got used to it, she's she's good now. So once you get used to it, it's kind of like that. And the outline is first. And the outline is usually the most painful part. And then they start doing the shading and coloring and all that stuff, which is a little less a little less painful. Are you happy? I'm very happy. Yeah, turned out pretty yes. good. I think it turned out great. Better than I imagined it Mark would. did a great job. Yeah. Sunflower wasn't even on my mind when no. we went in. I knew it had to be a flower of some kind. Yeah. And That's the easiest to hide tattoos with. And you know, you got to go bigger always to cover yeah, up the tattoo. Yeah, you got to go like more than twice the size of the original to cover it. So if you're in Columbus, Georgia, and you need a tattoo, go see Mark, Silver Eagle. Yes. Columbus, Georgia. He does not disappoint. Yeah. He's the only Mark there, so they'll know who you're talking about. Just walk <laughs> yeah. in and ask for Mark. <laughs> That's right. We want to give you a, an update on Harper. She's two weeks old now. Still perfect. Changing every <laughs> single day, but doing a lot more, staying awake for a little longer. longer. Yeah. Trying to hold her head up. Yeah. She but still doing the, so <laughs> trying to do the, the bobblehead thing. Scout's first time meeting Harper. <laughs> what do you think, buddy? What is it? It's a little tiny human. Yeah. What's she doing back there? <laughs> Who is that? Today, we're on a mission. Yes. Because, here's why. We are going to do some downsizing and some reorganization for a couple of reasons. Yeah. Well, for one major reason. Yes. I mean, I downsize periodically and clear out, rearrange. That's a normal thing. Yeah. After we leave here, we are headed to Texas and we are going to install some solar and some lithium. Yay! And when we say we, we don't mean us. Somebody else is Somebody doing. else is going to do it. We're <laughs> going to have it installed. We are getting the solar and lithium finally. Yeah, so a couple of different th factors in this is the weight of it. Yes. It's going to add about 500 pounds to the total weight of the RV. Yeah. So we have to scale back some weight. Which we are under right now, but that will put us very close. And I don't like that. Yeah. So we got to lose a little bit more weight. The other thing we have to do is we have to make room for the batteries. Yes. And we want the batteries to be in our basement where it's climate controlled. Yeah. Because it regulates the temperature of the batteries better. Yeah. So we're going to see if we can not only shed some weight, but make some room. Well, this is our current situation. It's just cluttered. Well, and to some, this may look like already downsized for a full timer. Yeah, there's I mean, still a lot of space in there. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot with us. But we have to free up some room on this wall over here. Mm -hmm. That's where the batteries are going to go. Yeah. And I don't know what we can shed for weight. We'll go through all these bins, the bins on the other side. Tools we could probably revisit a little. Maybe. See what's in that box. But yeah, I don't know how much we're going to shed, but mostly we just got to make it to where it all looks accessible and we'll accommodate the batteries. We have this. 
front storage, which I don't think we can shed too much out of here. We need all this stuff. Well, a little bit we can. We are hoping when we go for solar and lithium that this will get removed. Yeah, I'm hoping so. I think we're as good as we're going to get. Yes. I really don't see us ever downsizing again because that's, that's pretty minimal. We will downsize again because we'll collect more shit well, to get rid of. Well, today we're at our storage facility where we stored all of our stuff that we wanted to keep while we went full-time RVing and uh, today we're downsizing it even more and trying to get rid of some of the stuff that we probably don't need. I don't even remember what's all in here. We ain't been in here in how long? We came back for one thing a couple years ago. Oh, when ago. we switched from the Montana to the Alliance. Uh, yeah. We came back to get the dining room table and all the accessories for the Montana to put back in the Montana so we could trade it in on the Alliance. Yeah. That was two and a half years ago. So it's been two and a half years since we've <laughs> even been in here. Yeah. Oh man, I'm curious to see what it looks like. Couple of cobwebs. Yeah. This is the doorway. Oh uh, yeah, this is. But this is a what is it? Five by five? Five, five by, by ten? ten? And it's not even. That's that's as full as it is right yep. there. So it's not a lot. It's mostly military stuff, some Christmas stuff. Which is coming out. Um, Leslie's wedding dress is in here. Mhm. Mm so, yeah. Oh man. It's a mess. It's going to be beautiful when I'm done with it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. One of the first things you're always going to want to do when you get your new RV oh. is change out the mattress. Absolutely. Because the mattresses that come in these things, <laughs> it's like sleeping on plywood, yes. honestly. Mm -hmm. um, we have the Aurora Lux yes. in the soft, oh, yeah. in the RV King, <laughs> and it regulates our body temperature. It has like science going on in there that yes. keeps you at a perfect 88 degree sleeping temperature. But if that's not for you, they have a bunch of different styles, a bunch of different firmnesses. Yes. And they're custom made for RVs. Yes. So they will fit in RVs. Exactly. Unlike some regular mattresses that you'll find in the store. They also come with a 120 night sleep trial, a 10 year warranty, and free shipping directly from the factory in Arizona. They don't just have mattresses. No. They have accessories. I love accessories. We have the pillows, the sheets, um, our daughter has one of their weighted, weighted blankets. blankets. They yeah. also have mattress protectors and all kinds of other accessories. Hey, check this out. This is the most coolest part. We can save you 25% mm -hmm. on your next RV mattress with RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. All you got to do is pop over to the link in the description of the video and use the promo code WAGS and save 25% at checkout. We saw the before and um, we're going to pack whatever we don't need up into the truck, donate, throw away, whatever. Yeah. And then we'll show you the after once it's after. <laughs> All right, here's what we got so far. We got Leslie's wedding dress. We got bowling stuff. We got motorcycle stuff. We got more motorcycle stuff. And then we have some of Lauren's stuff. This is Bobo. This is Bobo. She would carry this thing everywhere when she was a little kid. And so she asked us when we were going through the storage if we could bring this to her. This thing has been through it, man, this, but uh, she wants it back. It. And her Beams little and her squishy pillow. Oh, this man. This went everywhere with her, too. Yeah, and then she asked for a blanket, too. There was a princess blanket somewhere that it's she always had. And uh, so most of this stuff is, this is NASCAR stuff, NASCAR collectible stuff. I, I pared that way down before we left and hit the road. There's the other beanie. This one, she left at an attraction in Paris. Yeah. We were on the subway back home when we realized she didn't have it. And you ran a little over a mile in less than seven minutes because that's when the train was coming. Yeah, round trip, <laughs> ran there. To that it was still there at the monument and yep. ran back with it. And I made it, by the way. <laughs> it was like record time. Yeah. But, um, and uh, then we have, uh, we have some more stuff in there that we still need to go through, but. A lot of military paperwork. Military paperwork and military like uh, plaques and framed items with you know when you leave people sign stuff yeah. for you and all kinds of stuff I just threw out all the Christmas stuff because even if we do get a house another time later on down the road we'll just re-get Christmas stuff yeah. and we're not gonna decorate that much anyway if yeah. we do um, the bowling balls the bags are in pretty bad shape but the balls and the shoes are all still good and I think once we settle back down I will eventually want to bowl again because I have always been a bowler I bowled since I was a little bitty kid 
uh, bowled all through the military. We bowled in leagues forever. Um, I bowled in the Armed Forces of Europe tournament three years in a row. So I'm a very competitive bowler. I would love to get back into that. We just don't have the space or the weight to take it with us on the road. Yeah. And when you're traveling around, you can't really bowl in leagues and stuff. So mm -hmm. they'll stay here. When we do eventually settle back down, we'll probably replace the bags. We'll just let the bags take the, take the brunt of the beating and then we'll keep the, the contents inside. But all right, we're gonna get back to work. I just found some cool stuff. There's my drill sergeant hat from when I was, from when I was a drill sergeant. This is when uh, we went to, we went to Normandy, and this is uh, actual shells and sand from Utah Beach. And then found my <laughs> basic training graduation photo from 1996. Look at that fella. It's a handsome dude. <laughs> I'm rich. You know the money I got. Yeah. It's dinars. It was crazy because we were in Iraq. This it was just laying in the streets, man. They were just throwing it out. It had Saddam's Saddam's face on it, and uh, once he went out of power, they changed it over. It was worthless. It was just it was laying in the streets. We we just picked up a bunch of it and, and just kept it. It was all beat up money. It's crazy. Got a stack of it. <laughs> and I got freaking uh, you know awards and ribbons and stuff from uh, from Iraqi dudes. I can. Neither confirm nor deny how I acquired this stuff, but I got it. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. We found this old frame. When we consolidated and downsized before, this is a talking frame that Lauren sent me when I was in Iraq. She was three. Yeah. <laughs> and when we packed this up, it still worked with her, with her voice message on it. So I'll have Leslie push this and see if it still works Five or not. Five years later, does it still work? All right. Here we go. Ready? Yep. Merry Christmas, Daddy. Hello. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Daddy. Love you. That is so That's awesome, awesome, man. Memory Lane. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> up to no good. Always up to no good. Oh, man. That's good times. Got my old Cubs. Old Cubs helmet from back in the day. Yeah. I could use it for like an ice cream bowl. That's a big ice cream bowl. Of course it has holes in it, so I don't think that, I don't think that'll work. You just need it when you're doing stuff around the RV. Yeah, they're walking around the uh, slides, slides and stuff in case I ping off the... <laughs> <laughs> Who needs pool noodles? That's right. And a Cubs helmet. That's, that's all you need. I feel like we did good. We got all this that we trashed. That's the second run. Yeah, that's the second, that's the second run to the trash. We got some extra stuff that we emptied out. We have... Um, a lot less stuff now and it's more organized how do you feel that we did well being that I've seen all the trash we did really good it feels like we didn't it feels like we didn't downsize that much I know. but there's so much trash yeah I don't know I mean we have a good one two three four five bins that are empty so I know we did good and there's stuff that there's stuff that we really don't need just don't know what to do with it. I don't know what to do with it, man. And so... Like, we're never hanging all your military awards and plaques. No. Going away. But you yeah. hate to just throw that stuff in the trash, yeah. you know? What so are you going to do with it? I know piled up. Lauren will probably never want it, but I don't know. Maybe later on down the line I'll find, like, a museum or something to put some of this stuff in. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what to do with it. Oh, man, I'm drenched. I'm soaked. Everything soaked. is soaked and plastered to me. Yeah. It feels very gross. But we made progress. We did. I feel like we accomplished stuff. We did. I got all Lauren's stuff into one bin, yeah. so that's nice. Hopefully she'll take that off my hands one day. Yeah, and I think that if we ever do move back into a place, I think that we could downsize again, get rid of what we truly really don't don't need, and then probably one truckload we could get this in to wherever we need yeah. to get it. To. Like your old paperwork. When you just, that just, just go, needs to be shredded. Well, I just got to go through it too. Yeah, because it's got personal information on it, so it yeah. has to be shredded. It can't just be chucked. So. And we didn't have time to go through every picture, no. through every paper. It we just have time for that. Too long. So we will do that later it's on. It's better. Down. It's better. I'll take better. More gutter. Mo gutter. Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.